This unit brings us to the end of this module on the key concepts of Revit architecture. Just before we move on, I want to very quickly recap on some of the main terminology used in Revit. To start with, I want to talk about Revit projects. For example, if you were creating a new school design, we would open Revit and from the splash screen, we could go to the projects area, new, pick an appropriate template. I'll talk about templates very shortly. So create new project, hit OK. Revit starts a brand new blank project based on the template you chose from the drop down. First thing you'd want to do is go to save as, save it as a project, find an appropriate location to store that file. And the thing to note here is the .rvt file extension, which tells you that it is a Revit project file. Give it a new name there, new school, for example, and save. All your plans, your elevations, your sections, your 3Ds, your schedules would all be contained in that single .rvt file that we've just created. So when we talk about a Revit project, we're talking about a single file with a .rvt file extension that holds all the information contained with that particular design. Revit templates are very similar to Revit project files, but they are files that new projects can be based on. So typically a Revit template will hold all the elements that you commonly use. So you could populate your Revit template with all the wall types, the door types, window types that you commonly use. You would put in your office title blocks for your sheets. You would load those into your template and then when you start a new project so hit new template file there you would pick from your office template you you may actually have a number of different templates depending on how your company works so for example a large company might have a different template for their large-scale projects or let's say education projects might have their own template with all the elements that are appropriate to that type of building in. Some smaller offices may just have one standard office template. Just be aware, the more templates you have, the more coordination it's going to take between those templates. Uh, the most simplest setup you can have is just to have a single office template that you keep updated. Revit templates have a file extension .rte. Remember the project files are .rvt, the Revit template files are .rte for Revit template. Families really are the building blocks of Revit. Typical families could include doors, windows, stairs, tables, chairs, ductwork, roofs, floors. Families generally fall into two main categories, that is component families and system families. System families are created in the system, i.e. by Revit, in a particular project when you need them. Walls, ceilings, floors, roofs, stairs are all examples of system families. They're created in a project at the time that you define them. They can't be saved as separate entities and used in other projects. However, component families are standalone files. They have a .rfa file extension. A typical component family would be a piece of furniture or a light fitting. These can be saved separate to a Revit project and then loaded in to other new projects as required. From the splash screen in Revit, both Revit LT and the full version of Revit, you can open existing families and you can create new ones. Both LT and the full version of Revit have a full family editor. So 
anything that you can envisage you can create as a family within Revit and then use it in your projects as appropriate. And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point, you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.